Hey, you wanna put this on your head? You're looking at video out of the Australian Reptile Park, which just received this nice little highly venomous Christmas gift. He was handed in by public donation and um, I, I just thought he was a female. That's a spider keeper, real job title, with the Australian Reptile Park, and she's referring to our friend here in the plastic jar. An Australian funnel web spider, the world's most poisonous arachnid. And our spider keeper here initially believed our cute little creature with fangs that can pierce a fingernail was a female because of its sheer size. Male fem um, funnel webs are significantly smaller than females, so I actually thought it was a female. Turns out, nope. It's a spider male, and it's believed to be the largest male specimen of its kind. Check out these images from back in December. Our deadly pal measures 3.1 inches foot to foot, or 7.9 centimeters wide, and it's larger than the park's previous record holder named Colossus, a word that means enormous size. This thing, instead, is named Hercules, like the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie, which earned him a summer movie star nomination at the 2014 Teen Choice Awards. Whoa, he's trying to get out there. Our uh, male funnel web. Uh, once they reach maturity, their natural lifespan's only around one year. So we need to um, constantly have them handed in by the general public um, because we need them for our life-saving antivenom program. Yeah, like I mentioned before, Australian funnel webs are believed to be the world's most poisonous spiders, even earning their own little category on Wikipedia's list of medically significant spider bites. That's one reason the Australian Reptile Park has a funnel web spider program. These things are native to Australia, hence the name, and the public is encouraged to catch them, as demonstrated in a YouTube video put out by the park that makes capturing the world's most poisonous spider seem about as casual as scooping up some granola. And then you can use a large spoon or maybe even a 30 centimeter ruler to gently encourage the spider into the jar, just like that, very easy. These spiders are found in different places throughout Australia, including forests and gardens around Sydney and recent humid and rainy weather across the continent's east coast have helped these things thrive. And if you happen to have caught one of these things with a ladle and a plastic jar you were carrying around, the park takes spider donations from drop-off points at hospitals, vets, and even one city council's customer service desk. A hospital first received our spider here, and the Australian Reptile Park needs these things as the park is the country's only supplier of funnel web anti-venom. Since the invention of anti-venom in 1981, we actually haven't had a single fatality due to the Sydney funnel web bite. Yeah, in case you thought your job was dangerous, optimizing SEO or whatever, workers with the park's venom milking program takes these spiders and milks the venom out of their fangs, which the spiders very much appear to mind. The milked venom is then sent over to a pharmaceutical company to make the anti-venom. And it takes about 120 to 200 milkings of a single spider to be able to create one vial of anti-venom. As our spider keeper notes, the sheer size of Hercules means he's likely to produce a huge venom output, which could prove to be necessary and beneficial to the public. Unlike Marvel's venom output, with Venom 3 releasing in November, to follow up two superhero films, films which earned a paltry 30 and 57% on Rotten Tomatoes, respectively. 